<laughs> Here we are. It's tiny race time. <laughs> it's going to be an interesting day. Got Pack Dynamics 4.0. Testing, which means the pack is going to behave entirely differently than it usually does. Also, a couple of new routes we haven't done before. Uh, let's see. Actually, three of these we've never done. Not this first route. This first route's on Seaside Sprint, ending inside the volcano at the arch, but the next three routes after that are our new ones for the tiny races. Ooh, let's see. Let's turn up the fan. It's gonna be a big turnout today. I think we might have the most races we've ever had based on sign-up numbers. But, let's see, we're at 138 right now in the bees, about a minute to go. I think Pack Dynamics 4 is just going to make this more suffery than usual. I think it's going to string out the pack. And if you're not in the front, you're just going to be chasing back on. Look <clears throat> off the top of my bottle. <sighs> I have one bottle with the top, one bottle without. <laughs> Take me to the stars. Try to stay near the front if I can. So far, the pack just seems slower. <sighs> uh. 
Rider attacked off the front and then disappeared because of Zwift's 100 rider display limit, which sucks for races. Here we go. Yeah. 
That was rough. My legs just don't feel like they have punch today. See if I can find a Strava activity from the last time we did this as a tiny race. tough one to find because it's not a discrete segment he just realized hmm. let's see here We were actually two seconds. Two seconds faster. And on the S's than we were uh, two weeks ago on that same segment. And it's actually really surprising. Two of why I would say we were pushing harder this time. 
Bridges last time was on that two, what's it called? Two Bridges loop? Not two Bridges, maybe it is. But one where you don't push as much on the SEs because you know the key climb is coming. Anyway, I'll let the track down the last time we rode seaside route. <laughs> oh, this last this last four hundred meters is gonna be terrible. And probably all the time before that is too. So this is the Alps. This is one I've been thinking about doing for a while. The idea is you go down on the, the jungle and then you start the start the Alp. And just ride part way up the Alp. I was gonna have us go all the way to the first hairpin, but I think that's too far in terms of time for the D's. So we'll just go about 400 meters of the climb. <clears throat> so on this one, there's going to be a lot of people on gravel bikes who are going to push the pace on the dirt and try to drop us on the road bikes. Because once we hit the pavement for the Alp, the road bikes are going to fly past the gravel bikes. So probably what it's just going to end up doing is keeping the pace hard the whole time. But if I can stay with the front group all the way to the Alp, then at least I'll be in a decent position against the gravel riders. <clears throat> Here we go. Definitely have the wrong playlist going. <laughs> Road bikes might try to drop the gravel bikes on this pavement too, but I'm not. Super tuck. Dude. I'm hammering. Getting spat out the back.
That's it. I got nothing. Why am I catching all these people? No, it's not. That's weird. See if I can grab this guy's wheel. I don't know what is happening. Here we go.
I'm gonna go save my spot in the next race. <laughs> Here we go. <sighs> I need all the help I can get. Ooh, front line. All right. Switch back to the pure aero bike. Just slightly faster than the Tron.
All right, this is a rolling one. So I should be able to stay in the front group. Find out. No power up. <laughs> Try to stay near the front because I hear it's the best place to be with Pack Dynamics 4. It gets really hard when we get off the back. Just try to hold a good position out of the wind. Let's see what happens. I gotta say, Pack Dynamics 4 doesn't feel as extreme of a difference as I thought it would based on the test on Monday that I was on. But we'll see, still got two more races. We'll open up sauce.
Let's look at the race results. Uh, whew. legs are cooked. <coughs> that one hurt. So I don't have high hopes for this one.
All right. Power up, bug.
take me to the stars. No. Ugh. <sighs> Ah, uh, mm.
Hey, look how strung out it is. Crazy. Nothing left. <laughs> yeah. Well, there you go. The pass bar won't go away. There it goes. <laughs> oh, man. I was tough. There was one spot, spot early on where or early on in that last race, like just as we were entering that first tunnel, where I was, it looked like I was you know, like two meters off the guy in front of me. And my avatar was was crouched down the indicator that it wasn't in the draft at all which isn't realistic at all like in the normal twist you know pack dynamics pack dynamics three you would have been set up something that's weird there
Well, you can see everybody's comments. Definitely some themes coming through. Biggest thing is, if you're in the back of the front pack, and you're not right there in the pack, it's like you get spat out the back, which is what happened to me. <laughs> happened to me on, what, three of the four races? So positioning yourself right near the front. Super key. But yeah, there really weren't any breakaways, which is what we were supposed to see more of. It's supposed to allow more attacking. but it really didn't. Maybe just because the pace is so high, because the races are so short. I see Nathan Guerra is here. I wonder if he raced, let's see if he raced the, uh, the A's. Yeah, it looks like he did. It'd be interesting to hear his thoughts. See what people say. Of course, there's only 72 riders here. Might do a poll this week. Runs with Insider. Get racers feedback. Oh, but I sure didn't like it. Thank <laughs> you. 
84 next week as I can't participate. He just wants everybody else to suffer. All R is all over the place. I think it was after the second race, he was talking about how terrible PD4 was. But then I think he won the last race. And now he wants to keep it. <laughs> I don't know. So PD4. It definitely needs some work. There's just some some behaviors I'm seeing that just don't feel accurate. Like when I flew through the pack on that jungle descent. It's like you suddenly get crazy head of steam and start going a lot faster than the other riders and then I had several riders pass me on that New York course the same way just passing me really going a lot faster even though it didn't look like what they were doing in terms of power would have them going faster there's something weird there. And I'm not sure about the off the back drafts. It feels like, like it needs to be a little bit more gracious. Take me to the stars. Maybe that's just me being lazy. I don't know. Felt like I had to fight way too much. But you also have to. The hard part is being objective here, right? Because you're so used to Zwift's current pack dynamics. Am I judging? PD4 based on PD3, or am I judging it based on my outdoor ride experience? And that's tough to do. It's tough to judge it perfectly and not have your judgment colored by what you're used to on Zwift. That said, I think I think it should have been easier to sit in than it was.
based on what I've experienced in outdoor races. But it's also been a while since I've really done a hard outdoor race. <laughs> so maybe I'm misremembering. Like Tom Coles said from Swift HQ just a little bit ago, it'd be good to do this on a longer race. So you can get the feeling for the pack dynamics when the pack isn't just pinning it, which is really what happens in these short races. I mean, you're pushing over a threshold for the entire race or close to that. So it'd be good to do like an hour long race. Maybe one on like sand and sequoias or TikTok. I don't know. What else? Really didn't see breakaways today any more than usual but it's probably because the pack speeds are still really high because the effort level so high in the short race in a longer race pack speed would be a little lower I think maybe breakaway would be able to happen There's also one time was, I had sauce up the running. I think it was in the New York race, race two, race three. <laughs> yeah, race three. Where I kind of got pushed off to the left and pushed out of the draft. And the draft number even in a sauce said zero. Plus my guy was crouched down showing he wasn't drafted. I'll have to rewatch the video, but I remember I had to push hard to stay with the group and I might have even dropped further back at that point. So I don't like that at all. I don't like getting pushed off to the side. I'd be curious if the engineers at Swift, you know, the programmers behind PD4, if they if they've worked something into the algorithm where if you uh, if you aren't pushing hard enough, you get pushed to the side, something like that. I don't know. <clears throat> I mean, in a normal hard pushing group, you have that. Uh, what would you call it, like a conveyor belt, mushroom cloud sort of thing, where the, the only way to move up is on the sides. So the group is continually dropping back, pushing up on the sides. So you get this kind of rotation of the riders. When the group's moving this way, I don't know. I don't feel like I saw that with PD4, but that might not be at all what Swift is trying to do either. Remind everybody, lead feedback. That's the real reason why I wanted to do this 
to do PD4 this week. So Swift can have a big body of feedback on it early so they can go back and keep working on it. I'm not convinced I'm gonna keep using it because I don't like the kind of inconsistencies, but we'll see. I really do like the idea. Of, I love kind of doing experimental stuff. You know, it's Zwift is developing things and working on new stuff. I like the idea of having tiny races be a place where we can test that. Because I like to, I like to encourage Zwift pushing the envelope. And I like to have the tiny races kind of be, you know, have something special going that you're not seeing in other Zwift races. So we'll see. Well, I was going to do a long outdoor ride today, but changed my mind yesterday. I'm going to be doing yard work instead. I'm trying to put sod in on a backyard by a week from today. We still got a lot of prep work to do. So I'm going to do that. I, can, I like that sort of work occasionally. <laughs> Running PVC pipes and sprinklers. And, so I don't really like the digging part of it. But wiring up sprinkler valves and figuring all that out was fun. And I love a good lawn. A beautiful green lawn with nice trim edges. It's a beautiful thing. I do like this kit. This is a from the core of Switzerland company. Um, I don't know how that's pronounced. I think it's C U O R E core. It's their indoor kit. They sell a jersey as well as this kind of a just like a tank top, like a base layer, but it's all you have to wear. Anyway, it's comfy. Uh, Comfy kit feels like it really holds everything in place really tightly. Pad fits nicely. That's kind of a subjective thing, obviously. But, I don't know. Feels like a well-made kit. Yeah, five more minutes. That last race, too, was supposed to just give feathers, <clears throat> but it gave out the full range of power ups. It's really weird because in Zwift hacks, it showed that it was configured to just show the feather or to just give feathers. But the earlier race was like this, too, where it Gave them all out. I don't know how to explain that. I don't know the details of how Swift events are configured. 
that something's weird or it's some kind of a bug with maybe that arch in London. Maybe it can't do custom power-ups. <laughs> Wouldn't make any sense, but I don't know. Maybe I'll have James Bailey take a look so you can track down that bug. That's an annoying one because basically if you had the, if you were lucky enough to get the arrow power up, you had a huge advantage from the finish over everybody else. And I don't like that, which is why I only do one type of power up in each race because then everybody has the same advantage. That's not cool. Oh, I like this draft, this feeling of not chasing, <laughs> just sitting in. Ah. All right, everybody, I'm going to sign off. Stop the video at least. Thanks for watching. See you around. Right on.